Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is combo box, the get and set selected option node. So these are our get selected option and set selected option nodes, and they work just like you would expect. Let's run our example. We have nothing currently in our combo box selected. I'll click on carrots. and We're going to print out carrots in the top left. So if we look at this, all we're doing is targeting a combo box, grabbing whatever option is currently selected, and printing it out. It's really that simple. The setter works the exact opposite way. We're going to target a combo box, and we're going to put in an option and tell it to set that as our current selected option. So right now, when this item is constructed, it should set carrots as our current selected item. If I clicked on default option, it's going to print that out because we're using our getter to get what's currently selected. Now if we type in carrots in all capital letters and we hit play, well carrots is still selected. Even though this is a string, the option you type in is not case sensitive, it just has to match. So if we do carrot, for example, and hit play, nothing's going to get selected. So an invalid option will simply select nothing a valid option, even if it's all capital or different case sensitivity, will select that option. Now this is useful if maybe you have a project where you have some settings, maybe a race of classes in a fantasy RPG game, and the character selects one, so you could get that currently selected option and save it out maybe to a save game object. Now when the game reloads on their display, you want to set it has the selected option, so it shows it. Or maybe the next time they load up a preset option. This one's useful rather than the index, which is number-based or array-based, because if your array changes or your combo box options change their order, the items may be the same, but the order's not, which means the index will be invalid. If you're going based on the actual option name itself, then these will still match, and you're going to have it select properly. However, the opposite is still true, because if you rename them, but keep them in the same order, you're going to get invalid options now when you use the set selected options, because those option words, the string, is not valid anymore. And that's it. That's our get and set selected option nodes. 